Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the African Nightcrawlers in the Vermi bag, Lil Mammoth. Last time that we looked at them, they had uh, had their largest feeding ever. You can tell there's a bit of condensation on there. Um, got some sprouts. We did check on them to make sure that it didn't heat up or anything, and it, it didn't. I think I, you know, it's a big enough area that it uh, was okay. So let's take a look and see what we've got. You can see they've already made a lot of progress on that bedding. And it's nice and damp in here. A lot of times with the, the bag systems I do have trouble um, keeping the moisture up, but the room that the worms are in here is not air conditioned. Um, not actively anyway, and uh, so the at least the air conditioners aren't sucking all of the the moisture out of the bag. So that all looks like it's doing good. Look at the sides, see what everybody is doing. Smells pretty normal. Looks like I've got worms throughout. All right. Now let's look and see about the biggest feeding ever and what's left of it a little over a week later. Big, oops. Uh, so we got the corn leaves. Now I have found that if I, if the leaves are, if everything is cooked, it takes longer for it to break down. And as these were not cooked, um, I expect they will make faster progress on this. So we've got the, the corn. Worms are enjoying the silk, you know, already. The leaves, of course, do take more than a month, I would say. Pretty easy to say that. Um, got the avocado pretty much finished up. They do like to hang out in there though. See some of those brown mites in there. Now we're getting into the corn. Looks like, I don't know, uh, still nice and wet. They haven't got into the middle of it yet. I think I'm smelling limes or lemons or something. Yep, I haven't got into that yet. Trying to see if I can find anything else of substance. Got the corn. I smell some lime or lemon or something, but I'm not I'm not seeing it as of yet. And I think I put onions in here, but I'm not smelling them. So that looks like it was an onion. I'm going to have to go back and look at that video and see what all I did feed them. I remember it being lemon. Must have been some foil on something. Take that out. But I'm not... We'll just keep digging here a little bit. I can tell that as I go a little bit deeper that it is getting drier. So I don't really want to mess up the uh, kind of the active section here that's a little wetter. But out of, out of that feeding, we've got the corn-related stuff and the avocado shells left. Um, I'm just going to kind of turn up over here. Maybe I spread it out more than I thought I did. I feel the sticks. Let's see. Nope. 
Nope. <laughs> Just the uh, avocado pits back there. All right, I'm going to gather up the food before I give them their new feeding. The only thing that they had, looks like they took care of their fast food uh, very quickly. And I'm going to give them some more fast food for them to eat. Um, I'm going to just get that all collected and put it in one place. It looks like they've taken care of just about everything that isn't going to take months and months and months to, you know, to finish up. It does smell very lovely uh, with the residual lemon smell in here. It smells like a nice lemon shake-up. All right, I'm just going to spread this out evenly. See what else I find over here. Try and keep the food together so that the worms will um, try and have a consistent place. Um, some of the bins, like the the 55 gallon bin, you know, it, like this type of food, I would put at one end and then put the new feedings. Oop, look. Freshly laid cocoon right there on my finger or in my hand. Um, distracted. Um, but anyway, yeah, so if I was in a really big system, like the leftovers, I would put to one area and put the new in there and then um, but since this system is it's not small by any stretch of the imagination, but I I do tend to like to keep the worms all working across, you know, one area. I'm going to kind of dig a bit of a pit here, put the old food on the bottom so that the juicers, juices from the new food can dribble onto the, the food that takes a long time and make it more delicious, possibly make them go through it faster. Didn't get to see much of a worm ball, which that's not very unusual for the, the African night crawlers. Uh, probably rice is the only thing I've given them that they they really go nuts over and you can get them in a worm ball. Uh, so let me go get their feeding. All right, so we might get um, some action next week when we go to look at this. This is, uh, oops. get the sticker first. At least most of it. But we might get a worm ball next week. This much sugar all in one place. Hopefully you might see a bit of a, a worm ball. But uh, since this is summer and they've already managed to go through all of that food, there's no evidence of the turnip greens from last time, so that must also be kind of a fast food. I was really expecting to kind of see stems or, or something, um, but there was nothing. So I think the heat, um, because it's probably 80 degrees in this room, um, I think they are just going absolutely nuts. So I am going to give them some more of those um, turnip leaves. I know my husband said he wanted some, but he never did get me the ingredients to make uh, turnip greens. So, unfortunately, the worms are going to have turnip greens with pineapple and, I don't know if that's a Crenshaw melon or whatever that is. Um, then I'm going to cover that up with the existing bedding. I think it's getting full enough that I'm not going to try and add any bedding for a little while until I get the harvest done. Which, oddly enough, it will be on a different video, but it's going to be right now. So, making sure all the food is buried. And then I am going to zip this back up. And I'm going to harvest. 
but since I have a playlist for African night crawlers and I also have a playlist for harvesting, I am going to um, make those separate videos. There's a little roly poly. Hadn't seen those in there before. But I'm going to make that a separate video. So here we are feeding. I think I'm just going to keep scaling up the feeding for these guys. Um, I think I've underestimated their abilities previously and um, maybe that's why they've remained so small. So here we are again, another super huge feeding for the African night crawlers in the Vermi bag low mammoth. If you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. I post multiple times a week. Uh, not always on the same day. I have a busy schedule. I do have a full-time job. <laughs> so I'm not always completely regular um, with when I do that. But if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.